Hello friends, once again welcome back to Alchemy Academy platform. So in this video lesson, I'll discuss about effect of process variables on NHT process. So under that, I was discussing about effect of feed quality on NHT process. So under that topic, these are the topics that I was discussing. So effect of SRN or CRN, what kind of feed we are processing in NHT unit, what would be the effect that I had already explained. How much sulfur content will be there? If sulfur content varies, what would be the effect on the NHT process? This topic I also I had covered. Distillation range, this topic I had already cover, covered. So in this video lesson, I would be discussing about these topics. First topic that I'll discuss is about API gravity. So what is API gravity? So API gravity is basically, it is a measure of how heavy are are a light petroleum liquid as compared to water. So API gravity basically tells about the heaviness or lightness of the petroleum petroleum liquid as compared to water. So how do we calculate that API gravity? This one I'll explain now. First of all, we'll understand what is API. So normal, uh, normally uh, like we have already studied during our school times or college time. How do we calculate that specific gravity that is relative density? So is it basically specific density, it is equal to density of a substance divided by density of water at 4 degrees Celsius. But how do we calculate API? API in the petroleum industry we calculate by degree of API is equal to 141.5 divided by specific gravity at the rate of 16 degrees Celsius minus 131.5. Here specific gravity we have calculated on 4 degrees Celsius but here we will calculate the specific gravity at 16 degrees Celsius based on that we'll get some API value. So here you can see for water API we have got 10, 10 degree then uh, gasoline 60 then asphalt 11 then heavy crude it is 18 then lighter crude it is you can say 36. So based on this figure you can see it here the see gasoline is kind of is a petrol grade material so it is very lighter so here you can see for water it is a heavier it is 10 see for asphalt it is 11 so in comparison to this you can see it as the api gravity increases what as api increases then what will happen your products become more lighter petroleum product that is becomes more lighter so if your api is lower then what will happen it indicates that your petroleum liquid is ha is of heavy in nature so now if we compare it with the water so you can see it if your api gravity is 10 for water api is how much 10 is there so if api greater than 10 then it means it is lighter and floats on water so any petroleum liquid which is having api gravity greater than 10 will floats on the water if it is less than 10 then it is heavier and it sinks correct so what is the importance of this API? Why, why do we need to know about the API? Suppose certain feed you are processing in the hydrotetic unit, suddenly that feed got changed. So you will be calculating some parameter sampling you will send in the, under that you will be calculating API. Suppose your API is going down, what will happen? Your liquid feed API is coming down. It means your feed is becoming heavier. If feed, feed is becoming heavier means more unsaturates are present. If more unsaturates are present means in that sulfur content or nitrogen content, double bounds content, unsaturates will be more. So when you go for the hydrotating process then it will consume more hydrogen in the hydrotating process. So due to that what will happen? Temperature rise across the reactor will increase and also uh, more coke for as temperature rise will increase more coke formation will be there and it will lead to the de deactivation of the catalyst that's why we have to monitor the degree api how much api range we are processing the crude so we have to keep monitoring if it is changing means uh, your feed is getting changed so these are the parameters we monitor uh, while processing the liquid feed to the naphtha hydrotating unit now coming back to eopk So what is EOPK? That's the catalyzer characterization factor. So what is its significance? So basically the K factor is a systematic way of classifying a crude oil according to its paraffinic, naphthenic, intermediate or aromatic nature. 
so basically it tells about the nature of the hydrocarbon you are processing to the uh, naphtha hydro treating as a liquid feed okay so how do we calculate the characterization factor basically k is equal to 3 uh, cubic of uh, tb tb is basically mean average boiling point in degree rankine that is equal to degree fahrenheit plus 460 divided by specific gravity at the rate of 15 degrees celsius so for paraffinic base k is equal to 12.1 I hope we will be knowing about paraffins intermediate or naphthenic. Paraffins means single carbon carbon chain have a single bonds. Naphthenic means it will uh, of a cycloalkanes kind of hydrocarbon compounds. So K is equal to 12.1 is in the paraffinic intermediate K is between 11.5 to 12.1. Naphthenic base K is 11.5 or lower. So what does this value indicate? What uh, if you feel liquid feed you are processing, if uh, your pK value is increasing or decreasing, what uh, information will collect and what actions you will be taking? So you can see it here, higher your pK of the feed stock is an indication of higher paraffinic of the feed stock. So higher the K value, higher the paraffinic and it is desirable also. Lower the value of K means feed stock contains more olefins. Olefin or naphthenic content will be more. So feed with the lower UPK will result in increased hydrogen consumption and higher temperature rise across the reactor bed. Same, your naphthenic as the heavier, if your K value is going uh, lower side you are getting, means your feed is becoming heaviest. It is containing your naphthenic, uh, olefinic content more. So if you go for hydro treating reaction in that condition, hydrogen consumption would be more during the uh, your naphtha hydrating process so and even temperature rise will be more and this temperature rise will lead to the more coke formation and will lead to the deactivation of catalyst also so these two topics uh, i thought to explain in uh, if uh, effect of feed quality on st process under the effect of process variable on the nst unit so in next video i will be discussing about these three topics bromine number Conrad's and carbon, HTM color and metal content. And along with that, I'll cover these two to these topics also. So guys, that's all for this video lesson. If you have any doubt, you can comment in the comment box. I'll try to clarify it there. So guys, thank you. Thank you so much.